Okay, so in this uh, example here, real quick, just want to show you how to use uh, StackCrunch to do a t-test when you have the raw data. So uh, this is a problem out of section 7.3, uh, where we are given uh, a raw set of data. You can see, I think, right here, the raw set of data. I tried to highlight that, but that didn't work. All right, so under the verbiage of the problem, you can see the raw data points. And now, uh, one of the nice things about StackCrunch is you can see this little window button uh, just to the right of the data. So I'm going to click that button, and then I'm going to choose to open in StackCrunch. Right, and it's going to open StackCrunch for me, and it's going to import the data um, into StackCrunch. So uh, really nice that it does that. And then what I can do at this point, uh, let me drag my window down here. Um, I can click the Stat button, and I know that I'm doing a t-test. This is a one sample t-test. And instead of the with summary option, which we've done before, I'm choosing the with data option. I'm going to choose with data. My data was in the first column. It labeled it var1, so I'm going to select that to put it over here. And in this case, um, I'm going to do a hypothesis test. Now, I don't remember uh, what this test was in particular, so let me click back to the problem real quick. So it looks like, uh, in this problem it says you receive a brochure from a large university. The brochure indicates that the mean class size is fewer than 32 students. All right, so the claim is that the mean is fewer than 32 students. So because there's no equality in that claim, we can see down here, letter F, that um, uh, the claim of fewer than 32 uh, falls into the alternative. So we have greater than or equal to 32 um, in the null. So let me go back to my hypothesis test here, um, to my stat crunch, which is right here. And I'm going to choose the alternative to be the fewer than. And the null was greater than or equal to 32. So there's my hypothesis test there. So I have my, my data that I imported. I'm doing my hypothesis test that we have there. And I am going to click Compute. And it will run the hypothesis test for me. So we can see in this case, uh, they give me the degrees of freedom. They give me the standardized test statistic. And in particular, they give me the p-value. So in this particular problem, I was um, given that alpha was 0.05. And I can see my p-value is 0.02 would be smaller than my alpha. So I can see again back in this problem my p is 0.02 and since that is smaller than my alpha I'm gonna reject the null because the p-value was less than the level of significance. Alright so so again in, in review right this is a, a test statistic I have the raw data and I click to open in StatCrunch and run my test statistic uh, in uh, by opening the data in StackCrunch and having it compute the p-value for me.